Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show how to install Kali Linux 2022.2. So we get the second update of the Kali Linux this year. So the new version of Kali Linux is available on the official website of Kali. I will give the official website link in the description below. So first of all you have to download the Kali Linux installer according to your hardware. Now here you can choose your Kali according to your need. Like virtual machines, mobile, cloud, live boot, WSL, ARM, containers, etc. Here I am choosing bare metal. Now in bare metal, you can download the ISO image according to your system. You can select 64-bit architecture, 32-bit architecture, or Apple M1 architecture. Now download the Kali Linux ISO image. You can download directly from web browser or you can use torrent. I have already downloaded the 64-bit Kali Linux installer. Now the second step is to download the Bolina Etcher for creating a bootable USB drive. It is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Or you can use Rufus also. Rufus only supports Windows operating system. In this tutorial, I am using Bolina Etcher. Here I am using Windows operating system. I have already downloaded Bolina Etcher and Kali ISO image. Now open the Bolina Etcher application. You can also get the portable Etcher application, if you do not want to install the application in your system. Now, this is the Bolina Etcher application. Now click on Flash from File, and select your downloaded Kali Linux 2022.2 installer image. Now connect your USB drive to your computer. Now, here you have to select the USB drive that you want to bootable. Your USB drive must be 8 GB. Now here you can see my Kali Linux ISO and USB is connected with Bolina Etcher. Now click on Flash to make bootable USB drive. Bolina Etcher is a free and open source utility used for writing image files such as .iso and .im files, as well as zipped folders onto storage media to create Live South Dakota cards and USB flash drives. Now, this application makes your USB bootable. If you want how to make a bootable USB drive in Mac OS and Linux please give a comment below. Now reboot your system and boot your machine from a USB drive. In the BIOS setting, you have to make a USB as the first boot device. Or you can press the function key to go boot menu. In my case, F10 is the function key. Here you have to select this option. I am going with UEFI mode. I am using UEFI mode in this tutorial. Now Kali Linux installer menu is here. Now the first step is to install Kali Linux 2022.2. Here you have to select the option of how you want to install your Kali. I choose here graphical install. Now here you have to select the preferred language you want for your system. Now select your location, it is based on the language you selected. Now here you have to select your default keyboard layout. It is detecting the installation media and loads the additional components. Now here you have to select the Wi-Fi interface. Now select your Wi-Fi name here and click on continue. Now here you have to select the wireless network type. Now here enter your Wi-Fi password and click on continue. Now here you have to enter the host name for this system. Here if you want to enter your domain name you can otherwise leave it empty. Here set up the full username for this system. Now here set up a username for your account. Now set up a strong password for your Kali Linux users. Now we have to create the partitions here. 
I am creating the partition manually, so I select the manual option here. Now we have to know about our partitions. So I want two partitions, where my data is saved. So this is the most important part. Otherwise, we lose our data. So here I just delete these partitions, where my Windows 11 is installed. So delete the partitions one by one. And the last two partitions are where my data is saved. Just double click on the partition. And then select the delete the partition option. You have to follow the same process until you delete all these partitions. So now we have free 164 GB of space. And these are two partitions, where my data is saved. Now select the free space and click on continue. Create a new partition. Now here set the space you want. If you are using UEFI mode you have to create an EFI system partition. So the first partition is our EFI system partition. Make sure you follow the steps. Now again follow the same steps. Create a new partition. And here you have to set the size between 4 GB to 8 GB. And this partition is our swap partition so here you have to select the swap area option. The swap partition serves as overflow space for your RAM. If your RAM fills up completely, any additional applications will run off the swap partition rather than RAM. Now our third partition is slash, the root directory partition. Follow the same steps. Now I am using the 100 GB. But this partition minimum of at least 20 GB. Select the primary partition here. Now here file system is the ext4, and the mount point is slash. Now our last partition is slash home directory. Follow the same steps. Now I am using the whole size of this directory. Now our partition is done. Select this option and click on continue. Here verify the partition's information and select the Yes option and click on Continue. Now your base system is installing in your system. Now here you have to select the options like which desktop environment you want. The default desktop environment is XFCE I am going with default settings here. You can choose as you want. Now here selected software is installing in your system. It takes some time to install Kali Linux in your system. Now our Kali Linux installation is completed. Click on continue to reboot your system. So that is it. This is the way how to install Kali Linux 2022.2 on your machine with UEFI mode. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next video.